Hello there everyone. Today we are going to discuss a very interesting yet very important topic. We all know that we have around 4 to 5 liters of blood circulating in our bodies all the time, all day long, every day. But do we really know what blood is and what is it made of? Not quite sure that everybody knows that, so let us explain that to you. Our role today is to answer most of your questions regarding hematology and oncology. Today we have Dr. Kim who is a leading doctor at Butchan St. Mary's Hospital. Ume, before we start, please subscribe to our channel so the next time you will be updated with our new releases. Hello, Dr. Kim. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. Please introduce yourself. I am Kim Seohi from Catholic University St. Mary's Hospital's Hematology Department and specializing in Dr. oncology. Dr. Kim, what is hematology exactly? Hematological oncology deals with treatments of cancers within the construct of blood physiology. We do diagnosis, treatment plans, educate the patient and the caretaker, hospice care after the treatment. We take care of all the steps necessary to treat hematological cancers. So what is the role of health providers other than doctors in this cancer center care? The treatment for cancer is done by a team and not just one doctor. We need many specialists. There are medical oncologists like us who use chemotherapy to treat. Then there are surgical oncologists and there are radiation oncologists who treat with radiation. Then there are those who treat skin called dermatologists, also pathologists who can pinpoint the illness precisely. There are those who use imaging such as CT scans to locate the tumors called radiologists. Then there are palliative medical specialists who assist with hospice care. In order to treat patients correctly, we have 34 divisions and 14 specialists who together treat the cancers. The medical oncologists act as a maestro in a concert who coordinates all the necessary efforts to treat the patient. So what is the role of other health providers other than doctor in the cancer care? In order to treat cancer patients, we not only need the help of doctors, but a team of supporting specialists. The nursing staff helps in a variety of efforts to help the patient, also act as liaison with the patient and act as their advocates. The nutritional specialists help the patient in the treatment process. Social workers consider environmental and social factors to help the patient in various ways. We deliver a total service package from a variety of points that can help the patient achieve their goals in a smooth manner. So what role does the multidisciplinary tumor board play in the case of treatment? Nowadays, most hospitals that treat cancer have a multidisciplinary tumor board. Many specialists from multiple disciplines pitch in during brainstorms on how to best treat a cancer patient. The level of care and planning changes to a higher level, and the various specialists throw their opinions and results in a better care level for their patient overall. Can you give us a specific example where a patient was treated by a tumor board? Most recently, a male in his 50s was originally misdiagnosed, but a team of specialists, including a heart specialist, was able to ascertain that the cancer had originally begun in the heart. Through chemotherapy, we achieved complete remission and is currently living a healthy life. Also, we had a patient who came from Kazakhstan with prostate cancer. While performing urological exams, we conferenced with his caretaker, who was 4,200 miles apart, who was an integral part of setting a plan for the treatment. Also, a patient who came from Cameroon. We conferenced with his caretakers from 8,000 miles away to set a treatment plan, who we treated successfully and has returned home. Aside from those cases, specialists in lung cancer, colon cancer, head and neck cancer, liver cancer, etc., meet together to add to the expertise and aid in the process of the multidisciplinary tumor board. Uh, Dr. Kim, what is precision medicine? Mm -hmm. And uh, how is it used in the treatment of some patients? Mm -hmm. Precision medicine is a new paradigm that is part of cancer treatment. 
specific to a patient's own genetic, clinical and environmental information, we use that information to come up with a highly tailored diagnosis and treatments, as well as follow-ups post-surgery. The technology today is very precise and can tailor each patient's genetic markers when treating their cancers. Long ago, cancer patients were treated in standard formats for their conditions. But today we use genomics to fingerprint all the necessary markers to tailor a specifically made treatment for each patient. Depending on a patient's MSI biomarkers, we treat each patient uniquely in a personalized therapy based on chemotherapy that considers one's immune system. At our hospital, we use MSI biomarkers to refine our treatments to be specific to the patient's needs and adjust to therapy accordingly. A young breast cancer patient who was in dire condition was able to achieve good results through genetic counseling and biomarkers detection. We found out her family had members who had breast and ovarian cancer through our diagnosis. Once we were ready to pinpoint a personalized treatment process, we used radiation and chemotherapies to achieve positive results. We widened the knowledge base of cancer diagnosis and treatments, as well as any genetic mutations present. Thus, we are able to deliver personalized treatments that consider much more information as well as the patient's choices of the various options we have today. So for a patient who is taking treatment of cancer, what kind of precautions or efforts he should do? Even if you are diagnosed with cancer, do not lose hope. Try to think you can live with cancer and think positively. If you allow us to diagnose and treat, I believe there will be good results. Just as it takes a while to recover from a wound when fallen, it takes a longer while to readjust after cancer treatments. If there are issues, trust us to take care of them together and ultimately arrive at good decisions. In order to facilitate the process, we need cooperation in obtaining clinical analysis, blood work, imaging, etc. Also, we need transparency in terms of any potential drugs one is consuming without prescription. This would help us focus more on the patient and treatment. Cancer treatments are advancing rapidly. We're at the forefront of the development's news. We treat patients as if they were my friends or family. We believe that our devotion to our patients shows in the good results we pride ourselves in. Thank you, Dr. Kim. Sure. Thank you. Today, we learned many things about hematology, oncology, and blood physiology. Thank you for joining us once again today at Cult Hospital TV. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll respond to you as soon as possible.